Here's a brief in-cab driving video of the 49 Ford F1. Uh, we do have a Bluetooth radio touch screen with some maps and other things to uh, get you around town. It's, it's got two speakers behind the seat and uh, that's where the battery's located as well. We have the AC, cranks up, blows cold. We have the tilt steering wheel, um, stainless steel three-prong wheel. for a ride and again power steering power brakes pretty predictable very easy to drive very smooth having an independent front end shift smooth it's not a fast hot rod strung out motor by any means but it's got that v8 power make you happy to push the pedal down and safe manner Again, no hands, dead straight, no wiggles, no wobbles. Uh, you could steer this thing one finger. It's easy driver for sure. And the power disc brakes up front help tremendously stop. Uh, it will stop fast. If I were to do a U-turn at this intersection, you'll hear a little bit of power steering squeak. Oh, we got a vehicle coming. But if I were to do full lock power steering, it will kind of squeak, make that belt burn a little bit. Well, it's not doing it now today, but let me see if I can get it on reverse. So full cock steer, you strain the power steering a little bit. But otherwise, I mean, the thing steers like butter, doesn't leak. Shifts smooth and clean. Handles perfect. Uh, the bench seat is sp sprung, so you got quite a bit of cushion in the seat. And me being 6'2", I have plenty of plenty of room, really nice ergonomics, and a sliding bench seat for anybody shorter would make him just fine as well. Put the brakes on. Stops smooth. No funniness on the disc. And again, when I come to a stop up here, I'll take my hand off the wheel just to show there's no wobbles, uh, there's no problems braking. It uh, doesn't steer braking. The shocks probably could use replacing sometime soon. Um, I wouldn't say they're bad or blown out, but they're not new. They are very cheap to replace and easy, so probably worth doing in the near future. shifter very nice driving truck